Hmm, can you guys see the whole screen? Okay, so we are live, I believe. Let me start by saying welcome to this live broadcast. And I'm going to go through how I edit my photos, the workflow. So first off, we need to go back to Finder. And I'm going to go to um, Import Me. So these images, I've already geotagged. And I've already added... Um, keywords using on one photo keyword AI so these keywords have already been added so I'm going to close on one photo keyword AI and I'm going to import these images into Lightroom and to do that I click on import then I'm going to go to the import me folder here they are and I'll come down here to my import preset if you're new here this is the first time you're viewing this I've actually got this preset already made and if you go to my channel you will find a tutorial called um, Lightroom workflow for street photographers click import so my workflow is quite specific I have a workflow here that utilizes collections it utilizes a um, workflow um, so a number of steps that I go through taking the um, images from import all the way through to done and this is what I plan to do now this is the first time I've actually seen these images, so it's live, totally live. I didn't look through them even before. And these images are the ones that I'm going to use in today's video. Don't think I have so many. 42, maybe. Oh no, I think I think there's more than 42. I think there's 120 actually. Thinking about it. Yeah. Just bear with me while I do this. I'm just going to go and see if I can find the chat room. I'm new to this. This is my first ever, first ever um, live feed, live uh, broadcast. So I don't really know what I'm doing, if I'm honest. But uh, I'll try my best. Please leave comments in the chat. If, you, uh, if you're here, just say hi. Yeah, 124. So at the moment, it's just fetching initial previews. Shouldn't take long. If you're here, just leave a comment in the, uh, in, the in the chat to tell me where you're where you're tuning in from. Is there anybody here? Ah, someone's here. Oh, hi there. Great. Hi there. I'm glad, I'm glad you could join. Okay, I'm, I'm, it probably won't take that long because this workflow is pretty quick. So what I'm going to do is go to full screen. Um, <laughs> and then I'm going to zoom in the thumb the thumbnail size 
so I can see six and I'll go to call so yeah it's just P P and X P and X so pick I don't know if you can see the keyboard strokes but I'm, I'm kind of going through and being pretty ruthless because I don't want to actually have to uh, edit all of these I had a pretty, um, I, I didn't have much time actually today to shoot, so I went out and uh, literally just ran through the night market. <laughs> uh, this is the largest night market in Gaoshong. Uh, one, two, three. So this first phase, it, it really is just a very quick, a quick run through, just to see what I've got, and I tend to flag most of them as picks, and then only sort of reject them if they're really bad, and I'm sure that I'm not going to use them. Yeah, some guy with a gun. <laughs> I actually use um, a loop deck, a loop deck CT to actually uh, edit the images. But I'm just using the keyboard right now just to, uh, let's say, just to pick and reject. There we go, almost done. Okay, so now to the next phase, which is going to be rating them. So, for those that have done the, um, or for those that have seen the tutorial, uh, um, three means it passes through to the next phase, which is adding the title and then editing them. A lot of these are getting just twos, I think. You know, some days when you go and shoot and it's not... It, it just doesn't feel that great. And it, that was how it was today. Um, I went out quite late for me. And um, didn't really have the, have the vibe, if that makes sense. If I make a mistake and do one incorrectly, I'll just use Command Z to bring it back. I think that one should, probably should be a three, and I I'd done it as two. Three. 
Okay, whizzing through these doesn't take long. So a lot of them are are going to be edited, I think. Uh, it seems to be seems that I've got more images than I thought I had, which is which is a good thing. And of course, when when you're actually editing them or sort of during the next phase, um, you can always tap two at any point to get rid of it from the that particular selection. You know, you can take it away. It's not hard and fast. You don't have to edit it if it's not working out. Okay, that's so. Uh, now I go to the next one. Keyword metadata. Now this one, um, the first, the first image here. I'm actually going to use it on the video. Um, this is trying to find some inspiration for shooting. So I'm going to give this a title and just call it books. And when I when I enter now, this one will disappear. He says, "Oh no, I know why. Because there's no GPS data. That's why it didn't didn't disappear." Um, but the rest of them now, let me just uh, zoom out because these are all in the same place. And if I go down to the title, I'll just call them Rufong Night, uh, Night Markets. I spelled that wrong, actually. It should be with an I. There. So they will all disappear now. If you have one image like I do here with no GPS data, I can actually see by going into status here, one of them there has got no no GPS, which is this one. There's a quick way to do it. Um, just bring back the... Or just go to the top to map. I need to see the film strip at the bottom. F6. Should be F6. There we go. And just find the location. And just drop it on. Just there. Now it's gone. So now I've got 90 to edit, which might sound like a lot, but it won't be. <laughs> so now just go into edit mode. And you'll see how fast I can go through these. You might notice one thing that all of these are in black and white, and that is because if I just go to preferences here, you can actually set up. Uh, let me find the presets here. You can set up different cameras here, and you can set up settings. So for the Ricoh GR3, which is what these photos are taken with. I'm actually using the black and white high, so it automatically applies that um, um, profile to the images, which is the one that I like anyway, so it's okay. So I don't tend to spend too much time with these, it'll go quickly. So for example, my, my typical first thing I would do when I get an image is just tap the auto tone because I figure that Lightroom knows better than me and then often with this profile I'll need to in, uh, increase the shadows a bit more just to have a bit more detail there in the shadows and then a bit of texture and then a bit of clarity and then that's it eight and if it's the same I'll just use the previous command 
and then eight previous eight previous this one I want to be a bit brighter it's too dark so increase the overall exposure I actually want some more contrast on this because I want these shadows here to actually pop a little bit more okay eight just gonna move the mic a little bit it's over my view <laughs> there we go that's better these guys are looking at me a bit uh, a bit dubiously aren't they what is he taking a photo of I'd, I'd actually got the video camera in my left hand and the gr3 in the right so they're probably thinking what's he doing these guys are a little bit dark here so what I could do is pop up a pop up a filter just to um, you know bring them out all people uh, and entire person and now the uh, loop deck allows me to actually adjust the exposure just on those people although I, I don't know why it's not normally I don't see when I start to edit I don't oh wait create mass that's probably why there we go <laughs> aha there we go yeah that's good you can see the mask there I think it does a fantastic job Lightroom now it's so powerful so powerful and this one I'm gonna auto tone raise the shadows a bit texture clarity hey, there we go that's quite a a striking image I think with all these lines going across like this these are this is the only place I've seen in the world that have these kind of crossings so this is a, a crossroads with traffic lights on and they also have diagonal diagonal lines for people walking and you can see the time between 8 and uh, 20 hmm, can't tell the time but between 1800 so 6 o'clock and uh, I'm not sure what the other time is but uh, yeah so these are in operation between those time periods so once again auto tone not quite that made quite the difference if I undo that and do it again see brings out some detail in the sky add some texture add some clarity and it really makes it pop it's a little bit it's a little bit dark in this area I'd like this area to be a little bit brighter I'll try raising the shadows there we go and I'm gonna lower the highs a bit more there we go that looks better okay done Ooh. there we go okay auto tone now some of these these ones I'm not sure if they're better in color um, this is a obviously a subjective thing um, because it's food you know food to me food looks better when it's in when it's in color although that's not a great shot anyway this is an example where I'm probably just going to hit two and get rid of it like that but I think I will try color yeah not even sharp two get rid of it this one I like this this one I do like so let's give it an auto tone a bit of clarity a bit of focus as you can see that the focus is very much on his eyes and if I pop the histogram down 2.8 yeah 2.8 so we can't really see his food too much but we can see his eyes which is probably the the most important part of the uh, image and this one I'm gonna actually give you a give you a demonstration of what happens when you want to make a virtual copy so at the moment 
we're using the smart collection down here and we're in in the edit one yeah edit um, smart collection if I create a virtual copy now you won't actually see it watch what happens I actually created a virtual copy there but I don't believe this is it this is this is still the original if if I go if I right click this and then go to folder in library watch what happens and I press grid that's the one I'm working on and here is the virtual copy that's the one I'm working on and here is the virtual copy what happens is it doesn't it doesn't add the virtual copy to the job collection so it never gets included within the smart workflow what you have to do is right click see if I go go to collection it's not there so what I have to do is highlight it in the folder and then press B to add it to job and now if I go back to edit we see that we have both of them now for some reason it doesn't show the um, doesn't show the corner folded over I don't know why that is but this one's the copy so what I want to do with the copy is actually make it into color Wow that's very uh, that's very bright that's really saturated too much so in my opinion that's not enough okay what I'm gonna do is go back to the possibility and then I'm gonna take down the vibrancy till I find the sweet spot which for me is around there yeah that looks good like that and this plate down here this plate at the front it's a little bit too a little bit too bright so I'll introduce a mask a gradient mask and I'll just bring it in from this corner like this and then I'll drop that exposure down a bit in this in this corner just because I want the um, I want the focus to be more on him than at the front because our eyes typically get drawn to the lightest part of the image the same goes for this for this um, well it's a doorway I believe here but I think I'll leave it like this yeah okay that's good that's done previous one let's check that one yeah this one not sure which one I like best I'm just gonna look at the comments one sec because I can't I can't see the comments and do this uh, uh -huh. oh you can only see the top left quarter of the screen ah why is this Ooh, dear Scale to window, why? Why can't we see all of it? Hang on. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Man, it's the first time I've done this. I hope that's better. Is that better? <laughs> Sorry, man. I was, I was just away editing there, and uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. <sighs> right. Is it okay now? Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. So we'll continue. So which one do you like better the color or the black and white that's that was the uh, that was the question let me just uh, 
add this one we'll go back to um, to compare them yeah so there's two, two versions there we've got color and we got black and white <laughs> Actually, I, I quite like both of them, to be honest. Uh, I need to do what I did to the color one, to the black and white one, because this, this, this white area here is too bright. I think this white area is too bright, so I'll just do that, actually. The yeah, the, the loop deck, it, it really is an awesome bit of kit. It speeds up the editing process no end. And let's go back to edit. All right, D. Auto tone. Texture. Okay. That one's. He's sharp. She's not. Not sure if that one's worth saving. To be honest, it's uh, it's neither here nor there. And um, what I might do with that one is just do something like this, you know. Is it worth saving? Yeah, I'll save it. Let me just go back to the smart collection because um, need to be there. Edit. You. Okay, right. Back on track. Back on track. Auto tone. This instance, I don't like the auto tone. I'm going to undo it. And I'm going to change the crop. Because there's too much noise going on in this image. And I'm going to do it manually like this. I like this guy, the fact that this guy is over here. He adds a, even though he's out of focus, he adds a certain balance to it. Not a great image, though. She's kind of giving him some, some daggers for something. Again, I'm going to crop this one. There we go. Folks eating. Not too much to say about that one. Crop it in. One thing I don't like much about these night markets is people people walk around eating their food, you know. And I don't know about you, but me, personally, being a Western guy, we like to eat with our mouths closed and we're quite polite with our eating. But the some of the guys here, they just walk around chomping away. You can see all the food going in and out of their mouths. It's, it's quite, it's quite, uh, it's quite disgusting almost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that one it's a shame it's not really sharp although it's quite dynamic 
I think a yeah, hundredth of a second and she was going by pretty quickly not much I can do with this one I don't think although I, I do quite like it though even though it's uh, it's it's out of focus it gives a certain dynamic I'll leave it in just as it is with a bit of clarity there we go okay next one that one I don't like to get rid of it auto tone again a food image maybe better in color yeah I think so and the the white balance seems that it's a little bit warm for my for my liking so I'll press and just try and find a better spot I'm using the white balance tool here or you can press W on the on the keyboard and I always uncheck this down here auto dismiss because if you leave it on well let's just undo that I'll go back to there we go I'll put it back so here's here's the white balance tool if I press W if I if this is checked which it normally is by default as soon as you click on something let me click on on something here the pick is gone it goes back and sometimes you didn't choose the area that you like so I I always turn off this auto dismiss and then I'll hunt around till I find till I find the right balance for me and I think that's okay like that and then I'll just tap W again to get rid of it and this one I'm going to try something and transform yeah I quite like that okay done Hmm, this one again I'm going to switch the color I think there we go well wow, it's very bright and let's find something that's white that's better isn't it with all these there's a fair few different um, light sources and sometimes the the auto white balance has difficulty in in finding a really good um, balance but I like that one the way it is okay this one again better in color these things are actually spinning around if you watch the video later you'll see what happens with this shot transform it first to stand it up straight that's better again let's try color this was one thing I did indulge in today I did I did uh, I did eat this <laughs> and it was good and again it's quite it's quite bright over here and quite distracting I think I will crop it in just a little bit I want to maintain the edge here so I don't cut it off that's better and then I might just add a bit of vignetting just to pull the the eyes into the target. Okay, there we go. In Taiwan, we we have gas, but uh, we don't have it. Not many houses have got gas piped in using you know. There's no gas pipe work in in houses, and I think it's possibly because of the earthquakes. Obviously, having gas, gas pipes, and earthquakes, they probably don't mix. So most households and businesses have have liquid gas like this in big canisters, and these guys ride round with them on these scooters. Sometimes three or four of these big, heavy canisters. It's amazing.
again i i can't see your chat so if, if you're saying things to let me just check to see if i can see chat black and white just go with the series uh -huh. Uh, wonder about the eyes looking from the wall on the left of the image if you cropped it might work okay uh-huh <laughs> it's a bit tiny though now but yeah you can see it all okay <laughs> right okay i'll go back to that one at the end and have a look now it's starting to get dark actually really get dark this one out of focus don't like it get rid of it that one's nice yeah I like that one okay and I like this one I think I'll raise the overall exposure a little bit Drop the highlights a little bit. <sighs> yeah, that's cool. I like her expression. A bit too much negative stuff going on down here, so I'm going to crop it. I like this. Yeah, that's better. Good. That one might be nice in colour. Actually, I'll do this one in colour. If I go with previous, like that, and then go to colour. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the food here is pretty weird. Pretty weird and wild. Again, this one's a little bit too warm for my liking. Now I have a choice. I can use the temperature slider on the loop deck, like this. I think that's pretty good, like that. Bit of texture, bit of clarity, there we go. Aha, now this one's an interesting one. Not exactly sure what she's saying, but she's saying something. Yep. There we go. Okay. Black and white, so I'll leave it. It's very cluttered. It's very cluttered. There's a, there's a lot going on there. A lot going on. <laughs> I think street photography, you know, especially especially here in um, Taiwan, it's it's very difficult to actually isolate stuff. You know, it's there's so much there's so much going on all the time. And this one I quite like. That spiral thing she's eating. This is going to be a square crop. There we go. Yeah, square crop is better. For this one. Maybe a bit more exposure. Bit of texture, bit of clarity. There we go. Yeah, I like that one. And I'll probably put a bit of vignetting. Just because it's slightly it's slightly bright around the edge. There we go. Okay, done. And this one I like. She seems quite thoughtful, you know, in the middle. There's a lot of a lot of action around her, but her face is very, very placid. Yeah, that's nice. I like it. And again, I think this one I'm going to put a bit of vignette on it. Just to pull the focus back into her because, say again, it's very noisy. But that one I like. Again, this one, she's moving quite quickly. And my shutter speed, 100. It's not really fast enough shutter speed to capture her. 
sharp sharply, you know. I think I'll do something uh, a bit uh, adventurous here. Edit in Topaz Sharp and AI. Let's see what happens. Topaz Labs, uh, actually, they have a suite of software that can fix, potentially fix stuff like this. So here we've got four different models and we let let it do its thing and then we decide I think it's doing this because it's it's flickering on my side maybe it's because of the uh, the broadcast and then we choose one that we think is better so I don't like any of them at the moment Yeah. yeah. There's a couple of softwares I'll use sometimes, and this is one of them, and the other one is the um, uh, DXO pure raw uh oh that doesn't look good I think it's just crashed something has just crashed <laughs> yeah Lightroom has just crashed I think hang on has it oh no it hasn't there we go oh panic over okay I'll just leave that the way it is I think I think that software crashed. I, I don't think it's working well with the live stream. So I'll just take that one away and continue. <laughs> Sorry if you're watching it. it must be boring. Uh, yeah, okay. She's playing some game with a stick that pushes these marbles around. I'm going to go to one by one, one to one crop and... Uh, probably quite tight like this. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that's cool. I know that you shouldn't put children in images, but this one, I mean, you can't really see her face, can you? So I, I think it's okay. Um, next one. Well, it's going pretty slowly. Pretty slowly. gonna whiz through them now uh, yeah this one it's uh shellfish or big I think the prawns aren't they big 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 tiger prawn things uh, let's have a look positive there we go see better from there I'm not sure I want to eat any of them to be honest looking at it especially with like little cockroaches and things crawling around doesn't do much for me Again, see if I can pick a better white balance. There we go. Yeah. I didn't notice that this person's got some got some disabilities. I I really didn't notice this. When I took the shot, um I think I had a respect for this person. I'm not gonna keep this one in. Um yeah. Okay. Again, this is better in colour. I've got no no aversion to having some in black and white and some in colour. I know it's better aesthetically to keep them all black and white or all colour, but I, I I really think that some images just work better in black and white and some other ones work better in colour. This 
this one I want it to be a bit brighter incidentally I'll, I'll be curious to know if, if you guys use a um, a calibrated monitor I have a calibrated monitor and I was wondering if you guys do because it's something that you need to consider when you're actually doing your editing because how do you know when you're editing if what you are changing is actually correct um, I don't know if that makes sense does it make sense it's like if you go to a TV store to buy a TV and you look at the wall and there's like 10 different TVs and you have 10 different um, picture qualities you know different colors different uh, brightnesses and I think as photographers when you're editing it's important to have a screen that is actually calibrated Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sure there's a lot of information and I can make a video about it if you like. But, um, yeah, it's important to be sure that you're actually um, editing and the, the edits you produce are actually the correct colours and the correct brightness. Most people have their monitors set way too bright. So what happens when you do that is that uh, images that you would print off later or images that you share would actually be too dark <laughs> because you've you've adjusted your images for the brightness of your monitor as opposed to what the brightness of the image really is you know so yeah it's worth it's worth thinking about this one I've visualized in color because it's a color machine one of those punch ball things we're watching a lot of net a lot of uh, YouTube recently and there's a lot of uh, a lot of hype about this Jake Paul Mike Tyson thing I think Jake Paul's gonna be a bit like this punch machine when <laughs> when he's finished um, yeah we'll see Just gonna whiz through these. I'm going too slowly, I'm sure. Are you still there? Are you still there, my friend? I think I was, there's only one watching. Uh, oh no, there's a few more people. Hello there. Hi there, Emmanuel KM. Welcome to the stream. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, see you, mate. See you next time. Are you still there, Emmanuel? Yeah, it's the GR3. GR3. Um, mm -hmm. Auto tone, clarity, texture, and these are slightly it needs a slight tweak that way doesn't it that's better there we go okay this one I like because of the uh, the action you know um, yeah a bit of a bit of vignette and I want the action to be on the gun there we go Again, this this side it's a little bit too bright. What I'm going to do is put in a, a gradient filter, put it across from this side like this, just to make that side a little bit darker. You have to be quite subtle with it, but you know it can make a it can make a difference to your images. Should really keep it like that. There we go. The focus is obviously the interaction with these guys here and what I'm, and what they're doing. So um, again, maybe I'll do a crop here. 
let's have a look overlay and crop size yeah something like this oh yeah that's better okay this one's very dark very dark auto tone do I want to keep it no don't like it press 2 this is a game where they actually buy these little hoops little uh, hoops I suppose it's a hoop isn't it yeah tiny hoops and you throw them over here and you're trying to get them to land on a prize could be a bottle of uh, coke it could be a bottle of wine um, There we go. And this one, auto tone. This one might be better in color, I think. Yeah, I think it's better in color. Kind of a ma mahjong game. Not exactly sure how to play it. You know, I've been there many times and never ever played any of these things. I should really make myself go there and play once. Uh, yeah, so the throw in the uh, throw in the hoops here. Let's see, see if anybody's in the chat. Just bear with me. I'm going to switch back. Oh, you are there. Hi, Emmanuel. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thanks for the comment, mate. Yeah. Um, so this is obviously Lightroom. Uh, I don't know if you've seen my workflow. I'll just show you quickly how I how I'm doing it. So on the left side here, I have um, a, a you know a, a collection set, and then I work through them like this in this in this method. I've actually got a video already that I've made um, street photography workflow for uh, for sorry uh, Lightroom workflow for street photographers. So if you're interested in learning more about this process and how to set it up go and check it out it's uh yeah i think you'd like it okay i'm going to go back and continue editing this there we go so it's a bit dark still raise it up see what it looks like in color yeah i think it's better in color you know i think it's because you can actually see more of what's going on and how they've laid out the Prizes in patterns. I like it. Bit of texture, bit of clarity. Yeah, I think I'll leave it like that. Nice. Aha, this one's got a good expression. I like his expression. I don't like how it's not straight, so I'll just. That's better. That's much better. And I think I'll crop it in a bit because this negative, this dark area on the left, too too much like this is better yeah that's better and auto tone now to see what's going to happen bring up the shadows a bit a bit more texture a bit of clarity and I think that Obviously, he, his expression is the is the is the uh, is the focus of this image. So what I will do, I'll put a bit of, a bit of vignetting around the outside, just to take away some of the brightness on the edges of the frame. Having said that, I quite like I quite like her there. I'm going to undo that. I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna reset this. Um, gonna reset the vignette. And what I'm gonna do is something different. I'm gonna take a circular. And I'm gonna put it like this through the middle. And I'm gonna include her in it. 
can be rotated a touch like this. And what I'm going to do now is invert this mask. And now I'm going to darken down everything outside. Just to put the focus on the interaction between these two, maybe, like this. And then at the bottom, this part here, it's too bright. So I'm going to add a gradient mask now, a linear mask. Well, let's just get rid of that one first. Hang on. Yeah, going to add a um, going to add a gradient mask, I should say, from the bottom up like this. And I'm going to darken that bottom area. Lightroom is so powerful now. The stuff you can do in seconds, it's it's amazing. So let's have a look at before and after. Before after before after Do you know what? I quite like the highlights though here oh 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 hang on there we go I'm just gonna raise the whites a bit there we go that's it that's it that's it just like that there we go okay what we got here not great composition for me that's it's too high ie I she's in their their heads are in them right in the middle of the frame and there's a bit too much it would have been better if the top of the frame was here and there and then her feet both of her feet were on uh, i know what to do here so a lot of people would probably just scrap this image and go oh, it's no good i'm going to change it quite dramatically by doing the square crop I'm going to do it like this. I like one, two, three here. It's bad to crop people at the knees. So you, you've either got to make a choice and do it like this. I quite like the fact this guy's doing something here. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks better, right? Like that. A lot better than it did before. And I say don't crop at the knees don't crop it like where the where the body hinges so no no elbows no knees uh yeah i quite like that iso 2000 i think i'll put a bit of uh noise reduction on this one just to clean up her face a little bit there we go yeah that's a, that's worked out okay i think actually little bit of uh, razor shadows a bit then a touch of vignetting around the outside there we go let's do before and after before after yeah raise the highlights and the whites okay done oh it's the same people not sure about this one again it's a crop isn't it it should be a crop I guess uh, something like that and raise the exposure overall Texture, clarity. Okay, done. This is also a super cluttered scene, very cluttered. You know, sometimes if we if we have too much going on in a scene, it's it's confusing for the viewer to. What what is the subject of this photo? Um, we've got these two ladies here that are quite prominent. We've got these this couple here. We've got this guy pointing, saying something. Um, 
it's very hard to know what is the actual subject let's just have a look in color okay color there we go yeah color does it make it better uh, I don't know I'd certainly need to change the temperature it's a little bit too warm there yeah, that's better I like the red of this lantern I think I'm gonna leave it in color you know a bit more yeah leave it like that another one this one I'll leave in black and white I don't know what he's, he's saying something pointing is he point talking to me <laughs> or is he talking to this girl that he's with maybe here don't know don't know I like it though maybe a touch overexposed there there we go okay I remember this I was standing here because of this lantern this this composition so we have let me just auto tone it first and I'll switch it to color so you can see what I mean yeah so we've got the red of the lantern and the oranges then in the background we've got the blue of the sky that kind of work together and then we've got the life of the night market below so it's it's kind of three I saw three parts to this image and actually I think it works out okay like this it's all pretty sharp and it needs to be in color I don't think it works so well in black and white clarity there we go yeah okay he's moving a bit too fast or my shutter speeds too slow my shutter speed was too slow here I should have increased it up to 250th or 320 then he would have been sh much sharper hey you live and learn right you live and learn she's pretty sharp I'll leave it like this though okay again the same the same kind of shot here let's look in color yeah Lantern, lantern, so the oranges, reds, blues kind of work together. A little bit too much space down the bottom, and a bit on the left that's doing nothing. So I'll crop like this. Um, trying to get the crop just right. Thing like that I quite I want him to be in I want this girl over here to be in kind of want the, the top of this sign because I don't speak Chinese too much and I certainly don't read it very well yeah I know that if I crop like this I'm cutting off characters and maybe our Chinese friends wouldn't appreciate that um, must be frustrating for them if they're trying to read it um okay I think that's better yeah I like it I like the colors here I don't like how this sign is blown out though so I'm gonna lower the highs a little bit just to bring that back in there we go that's better okay done this one's a bit of a mess this one I might well take away fish on a stick or shrimp on a stick don't know why I took that photo really don't like it so I'm gonna press 2 get rid of it there we go now we're talking I think here these ones again this one needs to be color I'm sure of it and you'll see why there you go 
Again, the colour seems a little bit off. It seems too. It seems too yellow. So now I'm going to use the colour picker. Try and find something that's neutral, like this. That's much better. Much better. And I'll make a note of this now. Two thousand nine fifty. Because I've got a few images that are shot in the same area, and I'll try to set them all to the same. So this one, texture, see, okay, done. In fact, I'll use the previous command. There we go, done. Previous. This is where Lightroom can uh, speed up the process no end. Do you know what? I don't even know what this is. I think it's part of a chicken. <laughs> Some part of a chicken that they baste in like barbecue sauce. I know they have chicken feet and God knows what. I'm not sure what this is. If you can read Chinese, t tell me what it is. Hello, Lord. Hello, Lord Baron. Hello. Hey, I'm your fan. Notice me, senpai. senpai. Ah, hi there. Hi there, Lord Baron. Sorry, I, I don't have the chat next to where I'm editing so uh, <laughs> there we go yeah just gonna put a bit of a vignette on this to pull people's view into the middle there we go done this is a cool photo I think this is a nice one I like this two people one looking left one looking right auto tone Bang up the exposure, texture. This one, I'm actually going to keep it in black and white. Let's just try color. Yeah, I think it works better in black and white, this one. It's just too red. This one is just too red. And black and white simplifies it. Let me see what it looks like in hard monochrome. No, it has to be this one. Yeah. Eyes down a bit. Texture. Clarity. Okay, done. This one previous. Whoa, too much. So tone. Well, there's, lot, there's a lot going on, right? So much going on here. So much going on. What did I say with the temperature? 2950. Yeah, that's better. Wow. Let's transform this, put it straight. Better. Before the refrigerator, it's like that way, and the the houses are straight, this pole's straight, but this refrigerator I didn't like. Shift Command Z, put it back. There we go. Yeah, that's better like that. Okay. Texture. I'm gonna take down a bit of the color, vibrancy. Let's take it down a little bit. It's a little bit too too much color for my liking, but I like the scene though. Phew. Previous. This is chicken feet. See him? Ugh. Chicken feet. Yeah. I'm not sure I want to eat any of that. Would you eat it? I just can't help thinking that chickens spend most of their life walking around in their own shit. Do you know? Doesn't make me want to eat, eat it. Hmm. Ah, this one's cool. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Not sure about the vignette though. There we go. Yeah. 
yeah nice don't need the transform on that in fact I'm going to change the crop take it something like this don't want to cut off the edge of that though and I don't want to cut off his hand I'm going to change the actual aspect ratio here and bring it up like this again I, I don't want to encroach on that there I want to keep it like this and press apply there we go that's much better a much better crop okay good and this one auto tone color so the temperature again 2950 better much better it's worthwhile you know when when you've got tricky tricky uh, lighting like this there's multiple light sources all over the place once you find the white balance for like the first one make a note of it and then you can apply it later on again these signs are kind of at almost 45 degrees and they should be straight transform we constrain the crop that's better I think that's better there we go action shot <laughs> black and white it's a little bit out of focus because again my shutter speed I was really lapsed today when I was shooting I just really didn't didn't have my act didn't I didn't have my act together at all today shooting this shutter speed should have been 250th 320th I could have dropped the F, F number down a stop and let the ISO go up to like 5,000, it would have still been fine. Again, crop this one a bit. Crop it a bit more. There we go. Okay. Not great. There's a certain feeling to it, but it's not a great shot. Out of focus. Out of focus, I'm afraid bit noisy but I'll keep it this one I'm trying to work out what's going on here what does she have there is it a bag what is it what she got on her arm Either way, it's a square crop. If you have a lady with arms, it's better sometimes just to crop off the edge like this. They normally appreciate it. Done. What's this like in colour? Different store, maybe a different white balance. Let's see what we got that's white. That's white. Yeah, that's better. Mm, 50 difference. Okay, nice. Texture. The mosquitoes just bitten me, I think. Oh, now I quite like this the way it is. Because her outfit being white and very black, there's a lot of contrast there, isn't there? I might not change this one too much. If I do an auto tone, I think it'll spoil it. Let's see. 
Hmm. Didn't spoil it. Just took it dark. Um, maybe like this. Texture, clarity, transform. Transform doesn't work. So I think I'll just leave it just like that. Maybe raise the shadows a bit. Nice. Computer's pretty slow, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. I don't know what's going on. Ah, bit of interaction here. I think he's trying to drum up trade. Crepe. Again, the focus of this image, there's a lot going on over here that I don't really need. He's got his hand over her face anyway. So I think the focus is going to be more like this. Actually, let me just try something else. Unlock it and... Mm. There. Yeah, I like it better like that. Bit too much on the, the highlights. Just checking color. No, oh, I like black and white. Okay, done. This one, I'm not sure why I took that, but I don't like it. Bye bye. <laughs> this one just, uh, I found it funny that they're all wearing hats and yet they have no eyes there. See, uh, this hand I don't need over here. One, two, three is the magic number. Ah, uh, <clears throat> oh, yeah, I need to fall and then just bring that in. This and like that. Don't crop off the hands. That's better. Much better. Texture, clarity. Yeah, I'm sure black and white's better. Color. Hmm. There's a certain uh yeah, yeah. I think black and white's better though. There we go. Phew, color. Color for this one. Yep, okay. Auto tone. Color again. Yeah, color is better. Brighter. Don't need this person here that are doing absolutely nothing for the frame, so get rid of that. Make it a bit bigger than I need because if I use the transform now, straightens this post and it still leaves me a bit more room to crop there we go yeah I like that okay previous no just the uh, previous yeah what's the crop there reset the crop Okay. Yeah. 
There we go. Nice. Is there anybody still watching this thing? I'm going to have a look. Anybody still watching this? Anybody here? <laughs> Say hi if there's anybody here. Participants. Nobody. Just me. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. Okay. Right, what time is it? Wow, midnight. Get this stuff done. Better get this stuff done. Okay. Here we go. Getting towards the end now. Only, uh, only nine left. I'm sure if you were watching, you'd be happy about that. Color. Square. Vignette. Done. Auto tone. Not much happening here. This is a no no. Bye bye. Auto tone. And crop. One to one. Tilted a bit there. There we go. Apply. Okay. Yeah, quite like that. And here we go. Apply eight. So it's on. Time curve, noise reduction. Hmm. I'm guessing there's nobody here. Uh, okay. Do I like it? Nope. This one, yes. Exposure up. She wouldn't thank me for making that too uh, too much clarity skin. Yes. I think I'll help the girl out. Here. Often skin. There 
we go. Done. This one, the expression here. There. Okay. That one, nope. That's it then. Right, I think we're finished. Let's have a look. It says I've got one to edit, but I don't think I have. There we go. So that's all of them done. Let's have a quick look. Thumbnail size. There we go. Yeah, all edited. I'll put these together and make a video and I'll post the video soon. If you've been watching or if you take the time to watch this, thank you very much. If you have any questions, don't forget, you can leave them in the comments below and I'll see you soon. Bye.